Sonic the Hedgehog Equestria Girls by Shattuck Bro Brony Chapter 2 Enter Celestia, Scourge, and Fluttershy with 2,475 words. Sonic, Shadow, and Silver continued walking down the hallways of the building while trying to think of a plan. Since we're gonna be here for a while, we're gonna have to blend in, Sonic said. Agreed. We'll only use our powers if it's truly necessary, Shadow added. And we'll contact or tell each other who is responsible for bringing the internal darkness to this world and Earth, Silver also added. While the three continued walking down the hallways, they were stopped by a female voice. Excuse me, are you three new here? The boys turned around and came face to face with an adult female. She wore a golden jacket with purple pants. Her hair was a mixture of light green, light blue, and a light pink with a sun belt across her waist. Thinking quickly, Silver gave her a quick answer. Yes, ma'am, we're new here. The female smiled and spoke. Well, let me be the first to welcome you three to Canterlot High School. School? Oh, great, Sonic thought. My name is Principal Celestia. Since you three are new, I would like to give you three orientations. Please, follow me to my office. The three followed Celestia to her office, while Sonic was still wrapping his head that he was in school. School was never Sonic's gig. He wanted to leave the school, but since he and the others were going to do an orientation, there was no way out of it. The three finally made it to her office and went inside. Please, have a seat and we'll get started, Celestia said. The three sat on three chairs that were in front of her desk. She sat down in her desk, took out a piece of paper, a pen, and started asking them questions. What are your names? she asked first. My name is Sonic, ma'am, Sonic started, and these two are my brothers. Shadow and Silver arched a brow why Sonic called them his brothers, but quickly got the message to play along. My name is Silver, Celestia, Silver greeted with a smile. Shadow, Shadow said, crossing his arms. Celestia wrote down their names on a paper and asked them their middle initials and last names. Sonic was about to panic since he couldn't think of middle initials and last names for them until Shadow told that their middle initials were H and last names were Robotnik. Sonic didn't like that he had to give his last name to be Robotnik, but Eggman's grandfather was the one who created him. Sonic decided to wet along with it. Through the remainder of the orientation, Celestia asks them where they came from, what they do, and what school they first went to before Canterlot High. Sonic told her they came from Emerald Town. Shadow explained they exercise and train most of their time, and chill, while Silver told her they went to Emerald High before they came here. After that, Celestia put her pen down and smiled at the new students. Thank you for cooperating and spending your time with this, she said. She got up from her desk and went to a drawer and pulled out three slips of paper and handed them to each of the three brothers. I'm gonna... <laughs> fucking... I'm gonna keep calling them brothers for a while because it's gonna be easier to address them and who doesn't want to be brothers with the most amazing hedgehogs? I don't. <laughs> Fuck it. These will be your schedules for the year. Again, welcome to Canterlot High, Celestia welcomed. Thank you, Celestia. Come on, guys, let's get going, Silver said, getting up from the chair. Thanks, Celestia, Sonic thanked, following Silver. Shadow was the last getting up and walked off. When he got to the door, he turned to her and thanked her. He closed the door behind him, leaving Celestia in her office, thinking, That was an interesting orientation indeed. I've never heard of Emerald Town or Emerald High before. I'm going to have to keep my eye on these three very closely, Celestia thought. After the three brothers left the office, they checked their new schedules for their classes. Sonic, first period, free period. Second period, team sports. Third period, cooking. Lunch, fourth period, band. Isn't band one of those things you have to join in high school, not just be assigned to it? Whatever. Shadow, first period, health. Second period, team sports. Third period, free period, lunch. Fourth period, band. Silver, first period, ceramics. Second period, free period. Third period, cooking. Lunch, fourth period, band. Ugh, I can't believe I have to enroll in this school, Sonic groaned. Come on, Sonic, it won't be that bad, Silver said, trying to cheer him up. I'm a man of action, Silver! I don't do school, Sonic explained. Get used to it, Faker. 
We're going to be here for a while until this whole thing blows over, Shadow said. Sonic sighed in defeat. The brothers parted ways to get to their first period classes. Class doesn't begin in the next five minutes, so they decided to explore the school a little to get to know their surroundings. Sonic POV Sonic walked down the hallways of the school. He still didn't like that he was still in school, but he had no choice. Huh, at least I have a free period, he thought. He was pulled from his mind when he saw a small group of students around in a small circle. He then heard voices in the center. You really think you could get away with this? shouted a male voice. Please, I'm sorry, said a female voice. Sonic rushed forward to the group and managed to squeeze through to get a better look at what was happening. In the center was a teenage boy glaring angrily down at a female. Sonic's eyes widened with surprise that the boy had the same hairdo like him, but it was green. He also had cyan-colored eyes. He wore a black leather jacket with a flame pattern on the elbows. He also wore black pants while wearing dark green and black shoes with two screws on each side of the flaps. He finally had a green bracelet on each wrist, along with a pair of red shades. The young girl, who the boy was starring down, was completely frightened. She had cream skin and had pink hair that fell to her waist. She wore a white tank top with a light green skirt with three butterflies on the side. She also had cyan-colored eyes as well. Who's that guy? asked one of the students. His name's Scourge. He was the number one bully for my brother's high school. He was transferred here a couple days ago. He's also very strong and very dangerous, explained one of the students next to him. Sonic's eyes widened more. He never knew that a boy would be named Scourge. He fought against him a couple times in Mobius. He was Mobius's number one hit criminal, but manages to escape every time. Is there something we can do? asked a female voice. Nah, let's just hope he doesn't beat her up. He really lets people go, especially females, explained the same male voice. Sonic looked back at Scourge, ready to make his next move against the girl. Sonic knew something bad was going to happen. Because of you, my mother groaned at me because I simply beat it up another student. You just had to go and tell Celestia about it, didn't you? Yeah. H.E. threatened. He never did anything wrong. You can't just go around beating up other students because you feel like it. The girl stated, surprising Sonic a little by her minor courage against Scourge. You're nothing but a big bully. Scourge finally reached the end of his rope. He formed a ball in his fist and raised it up. You're gonna get it now, you little tramp, yeah, he screamed. He threw his hand down to punch the girl in the face. Some of the students covered their eyes, not wanting to see what was going to happen. The girl screamed and covered her face to await the blow. Thinking quickly, Sonic rushed forward to the two and grabbed Scourge's arm before it hit the girl. That's enough, he shouted. The students were taken completely by surprise by Sonic's action. Scourge and the girls were also surprised for what he was doing dragging him off. It's no POV. Scourge was surprised. No one has ever stopped one of his beatings before. He was also surprised that this boy looks like him a little. He scowled at the boy angrily. Who the hell are you? He asked while shouting. My name is Sonic, and you have no right to threaten this girl, he said. Everyone was completely speechless by this boy's courage. The girl stood there with surprise. She couldn't believe that this boy was helping her, and he doesn't know her. I can threaten anyone I want. Now do me a favor and beat it, rat. Yeah, he threatened. Even though Sonic was a human now, he still dislikes the word rat, and he wasn't going to turn away while he was about to hurt this girl. Never, he answered coldly. Scourge got very mad. Have it your way, rat, he screamed. He quickly turned around and threw a punch at Sonic, but Sonic easily dodged the attack and threw him at a nearby locker. The students were now shocked at what he did. No one has ever fought back against Scourge before. This was complete first. Scourge got up and stared at Sonic angrily. You're gonna wish you never did that, rat, he said coldly, getting into a fighting stance. Sonic got into his battle stance as well, while the students made more room for the two. They were all about to see the biggest fight of their lives. What a boring fucking school. The girl immediately scooted away from the boys while they stared at each other with flames in their eyes. Bring it on, Scourge! Sonic shouted with courage. And apparently you're supposed to play this world, or his world, instrumental from Sonic 06, but I really doubt you're going to do that. 
Scourge charged at Sonic and began throwing punches at Sonic. Sonic easily dodged the attacks and threw a powerful punch at Scourge's stomach. Scourge grunted in pain and stumbled back, clutching his stomach. The students were amazed by Sonic's speed and strength. The girl was also surprised as well. Scourge shook off the pain and charged at Sonic again. He jumped a little and threw a kick. Sonic threw his body backwards while standing on his two feet, dodging the attack. Scourge landed on his feet and did a slid kick to throw Sonic off balance. Sonic did a triple backflip and jumped into the air, doing a few flips. He finally landed on his feet and lurked at Scourge with victory in his eyes. The students were amazed by Sonic's performance. Then one of the students cheered for him. You could do it, Sonic! Soon more students began cheering. Kick his ass, Sonic! Show him what you're made of, Sonic! Show him not to mess with us, Sonic! Sonic, 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 Sonic! With the amount of positivity Sonic was getting from the crowd, Scourge was now far beyond mad. He finally lost control of his anger and screamed. He charged at Sonic again to finish him off for good. He then started to throw punches at Sonic again, but Sonic blocked the attacks with his elbows and arms. Scourge threw a punch at Sonic's face, but Sonic caught the punch and slowly started twisting his arm. Who, who the hell are you? Scourge grunted. I told you, I'm Sonic. Let this be a message to you, Scourge. You mess with one of these students, you mess with me, he said. Sonic threw a powerful punch at Scourge's stomach, and he slammed into a locker, leaving him badly injured and bruised. The Scourge used his remaining strength and got up. He limped away, not before he gave him a warning to him. This isn't over. He finally limped away with pain and defeat. The students cheered for Sonic while Sonic gave them all a smirk and thumbs up. He then turned his attention to the pink-haired girl, who was completely shocked. And now you're supposed to play Rekindled Light, Save the Speech, event from Sonic Unleashed. Sonic gently lowered his hand to help her up. You okay? he asked. The girl hid her face into her hair for a moment until she looked into his emerald eyes. She blushed while gently taking his hand. Sonic hoist her up and checked to be sure she was okay. He then gave her a warm smile. I'm glad to see he didn't. Sonic was cut off by a sudden hug from the girl. She sobbed into his chest and held him close. Thank you. I... I was so scared that he would hurt me. She sobbed. Sonic smiled and gently wrapped his arms around the girl. Shh. It's okay. It's over now. He spoke in the softest words he could muster. He gently ran his fingers through her pink hair and held her close. Kinda creep, dude. After a minute, the crying died down and she stared into his eyes. She smiled at him. Thank you, she said. Sonic smiled back. No problem. I couldn't just sit by and let him hurt you. What's your name? He asked. She smiled and spoke. It's Fluttershy. It's great to meet you, Fluttershy. Anyways, I need to get back to my free period class. Oh, I also have a free period class as well. We can go together, if you don't mind, she said. Not one bit, Sonic said with a smile. The students finally took their leave to get to their classes, while a few gave him a pat on the back for what he did. When the students left, Sonic and Fluttershy walked to their free period class. Along the way, Fluttershy laid her head on Sonic's shoulder. Sonic blushed a little by her action, but after what she went through a few minutes ago, he decided to let her feel comfortable. He then wrapped an arm around her shoulder, keeping her safe and close. Fluttershy blushed madly, but smiled. Sonic knew this was only the beginning of their newfound friendship. Little does he know, he, along with Silver and Shadow, will make a lot of new friends along the way. Maybe this school isn't so bad after all, Sonic thought, smiling as he and Fluttershy walked down the hallways to their class. Song end. To be continued? Author's note, that sums up chapter 2. Chapter 3 coming soon. Peace out, every up...